Hello, this is Burla Gossam, and I'm going to teach you how to make a Goldberg machine. So, step one is to find all materials that you can use to make a Goldberg machine. So, anything from like dominoes and marbles and tracks to, to more toys like blocks and Jenga blocks and other random stuff like Hot Wheels tracks and cups and other balls like ping pong balls so i have a lot of stuff that can be used to guide marbles for example railroad tracks and hot wheels tracks but some people don't have this so you could use something that everybody has used paper towel rolls and toilet paper rolls such as these two you could put a marble in one and make it go through one like you can roll you could also use a paper towel roll you could cut a paper towel roll in half and get something like this it also works and if you elevate it a little yeah it works as well as a full one that one that's not cut in half like this so yeah one of the most important things to make a Rube Goldberg machine is dominoes. It's almost impossible to make a machine without dominoes. So how they work, if you don't know how the domino effect works, you just put dominoes down one next to the other. And just knock them down like that. Some people have colorful dominoes like these so yeah use dominoes so another thing you can use in a Goldberg machine is popsicle sticks so you can use regular popsicle sticks or colored popsicle sticks so yeah and, and the way they work is that if you have a lot of dominoes or any other elevated platforms and you put a popsicle stick on one and then you put a popsicle stick on one domino and then the other stick and then the same thing with the next domino and just so on until you reach a until you reach a ramp or something that you could put a marble on so how they work is that if one domino gets knocked down all the popsicle sticks get knocked down and then the marble goes so this is how another way that popsicle sticks work is that if you don't have enough dominoes or something you can use popsicle sticks like this and make a longer domino chain than you would with the number of dominoes you have so a very useful tool in Rube Goldberg machine making is string and tape. If you want to attach something like this domino to something that's pretty far away, like this stick, you would have to you have to you would have to use string and then attach the string to the domino and the stick with tape. So here's what happens. The dominoes push the this domino which pulls on the string which is attached to the popsicle stick which lets the marble go. So with the string and tape, it makes it easier. 
So the last thing is be creative. Use anything you want. Binders, Rubik's Cubes, pool balls, fake basketballs, wind-up toys, trains. You can even make things bounce. So, mm, one of the very cool thing in Rube Goldberg machine is when you use two balls for one track. For example, if you use the basketball right here, and then you use a marble to go on the same track, except for backwards. And then it does something else. Okay, so thanks for watching, and you can get some ideas from my Rube Goldberg machines. Just search Burla Gossam on YouTube, and then you can find eight Rube Goldberg machines and more ideas and tests and experiments to get ideas from and build your own Rube Goldberg machine. Okay, 